We're at 11.2a analyzing box plots. Box plots show five key values to represent a set of data. It shows the least value, the greatest value, the lower quartile, which is Q1, the upper quartile, which is Q3, the median, which is Q2. So here we would have our least value, our greatest value, the median for all the data here would be Q2. We have the lower quartile Q1 and the upper quartile Q3, and there would be a number line down here. The interquartile range is the difference between the upper quartile Q3 and the lower quartile Q1, which is represented by the length of the box. We could do Q3 minus Q1, so we'd have 9 minus 4. We would know that the interquartile range is 5. So let's take a look at this box plot. We can see we have a whisker on this side, a whisker on this side, the median, Q2, for this box plot is 8. It's the second quartile and divides the data values into two halves, a lower half and an upper half. The whiskers are about the same length, which means both quarters of the data have about the same range. We have Q3 minus Q1, we would have 10 minus 4, we know the interquartile range is 6. Now, we did learn this in sixth grade math last year, and I'm going to have links to 16.3a, b, and c, where we learned a lot of this. To create a box plot, the first thing we do is arrange the data in order. We can put it in order from least to greatest. Then, we divide the data into four equal sized parts or quarters, and we draw the box and whiskers using the quarters. So, Here's the daily low temperatures for some days last month, and we can see they're not in order, are they? We got a 35 here and a 45 here. We put them all in order from least to greatest. Here I've done that. And we divide the data into four equal size parts or quarters. Now we draw the box plot. To draw the box plot for the daily low temperatures of some days last month, we start by making a point, drawing a mark here for the lowest, which is 35, and the greatest, which is 54. Before we do anything else, we mark the lowest and greatest. Now we find Q2 as the median of the data. Remember how to find a median? It's the middle number, so we've got 12 numbers here. That's an even number, so we're going to have a 43 and a 44 in the middle for the median, so we need to find the average of that, which comes out to 43 and a half, so it's about right here. So that's Q2. Now we find Q1 as the median of the lower half, and the median, the middle numbers, would be 38 and 39, so we find the average, the mean for that, and we get 38 and a half, about right here. We find Q3 is the median of the upper half. We have 48 and 49 for the two middle numbers, so it's going to be 48 and a half. It's going to be about right here. Then we just draw our lines and points, our line and point, our line and point. Then we draw the whiskers from the lowest value to Q1 and the greatest value to Q3. We've got our box plot. Let's try another one. These are the daily low temperatures for some days this month. Now we've got 21 to 52. They're all in order, and we divide the data into four equal size parts or quarters. So we have one, two, three, four quarters, and we mark the least 21 right here. That would be between 20 and 22, and the greatest, which is 52. Now we mark Q2 for the median. That would be, we have 39 and 39, so that's going to be 39. It's going to be right there. We mark the first quartile, Q1, for the median of the lower half. We have 36 and 38, so that's going to be 37. So that's going to be about right here. 
Then we mark Q3 for the third quartile for the median of the upper half. We have 48 and 49, so it's going to be 48 and a half. Right? It's going to be about right there. We draw our lines for Q1 and Q2 and Q3. And we draw our whiskers from the lowest value to Q1 and the greatest value to Q3. And look at how long that left whisker is. The left whisker is longer because the data has a greater range. It has to go from 21 to 37. So that's why this whisker is much longer. And looking at this box plot, we can see between Q1 and Q2, the box is narrower than between Q2 and Q3. Look at how narrow it is here compared to this side. Well, this is because the data to the left of the median, over here, is not as spread out as the data to the right. From Q1 to Q2 is only 37 to 39. So remember that box plots show five key values. The least value, the greatest value, the lower quartile, which is Q1, it shows the upper quartile, which is Q3, and it shows the median, which is Q2. We've got lowest, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, greatest. Okay, we finished the first part of 11.2. We're going to move on to the second part. We're going to talk about box plots with similar variability. If you really want to understand this and you don't quite remember from last year, Check out the description and the video links to the 6th grade videos. It'll only take you a few minutes to watch them, and then watch this one again. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.